you to what is happening, man. It's your boy, Blanco NYC, and we are back with the second part of last week's video. I'm over here by Bay Ridge right now, you know what I'm saying? Nice little, nice little view, you know what I'm saying? But we are back with the second part. Um, that The whole video was about 63 minutes long, so I'm like, nah, I wasn't gonna do that to y'all. I wasn't gonna have y'all there sitting for a whole hour watching basically an episode of Netflix. So I was like, let me just chop it up. And then even though I chopped it up, it was still, last week's video was still about 31 minutes. This this video right here was about 20 to 25. So I'm like, damn. So I, I took out a lot of stuff. A lot of things didn't make it. But if y'all really wanna know how to fix rims step by step by step, I did three other videos on that. I did two last year. Oh, one last year and then two the year before when I had the white fourth gen. So I'm gonna link them down below. But um, yeah, this is the second part. Um, one thing, two things before we get into, three things before we get into this video. Um, shout out to my boy Robertus, my son Rubelki. He um, he's the man behind the editing on this new intro. Um, I've been getting positive feedback ever since I changed the intro on that. Uh, me and my two boys, the ones that helped me fix the rims, we literally went on the highway about two to three o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday to Wednesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And y'all know I dropped Wednesdays, so it was last minute. We shot the videos, we shot the clips, I sent them over to my boy Rubelki. And by the time I woke up in the morning, about 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning, he had to, he had it edited and all that. And he was like, yo, let me know what you think. And it was fire, shout out to you, my boy. He's actually the one that does the um, the stars on the roof with the hairline and with my other boy Chinola. Chinola 8, shout out to you too, bro. Um, if y'all want to get that done, they got the best prices in the towns, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna put the Instagram right here. If not, um, y'all can email me or comment. I'll set it up for y'all. And also, shout out to my son A Town. He sent me over a new song that is unreleased. So I'm like, yo, I'm gonna put it on my new um on the new intro. He's like, go ahead, Brody. Um, I'm gonna link his SoundCloud down below also. And last but not least, I changed the br the logo to the brand. I'm not gonna do Blanco NYC anymore. How I have um here on the TL on the banner on the windshield. I'm still gonna use that, but for the this new logo I came up with, I'm gonna go crazy with the merch. Um, it's real New York City. It's real dope. It's different. Um, I thought about it myself. I pitched it over to my home girl. She threw it, she drew it out, and you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna throw it in here somewhere randomly, like on some 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 some. So make sure y'all don't skip anything. Um, I got a real dope project coming soon. If y'all wanna stay in tune with my daily life. Not even just my daily life, just like motivational things. You know, stay stay tuned. Cause I'm, I'm I'm dropping a real dope project soon. I'm thinking about I look like a little Mongolite with my head to the front. Um it's a dope project, y'all. Just stay tuned. I'm gonna speak about it probably like in the next few videos. Um but yeah, let me know how the uh, rims came out. Um and like I said, if y'all wanna know step by step how to do it, just uh click the links in the bio. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. I heard you think that I don't got it. What? I heard you think that you could toe tag me in a verse, but homie, this is not it. Nope. I heard you think I'm getting comfortable. Like, what's up with you? Probably Flexus. bump your head when you was bumping me, nigga. <laughs> there would never be a substitute. K-A-N-G, homie, that's me. Put some respect on my name. A-T-O, A-T-O, W, Wayne. I want the money, you can keep the fame. Red light, green light, who gon' stop me? <laughs> Niggas is corny, they not gonna pop me. Nope. I got... Ah, uh, yeah, so it is the next day, as y'all can see. Your boy woke up with my legs throbbing like they hurt so bad in my arm up here, my shoulder hurt. I guess from all the sanding. You know what I'm saying? But Ooh -wee. these things is looking crazy, y'all. Look at them times. I'ma um I'ma take off the tape and give y'all like a better look. But so far, I love the way they came out, nice and dark, exactly how I was aiming to go with that dark, dark gunmetal look. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna take off the tape, give y'all a look. And I don't know if I'm gonna put them on the car right away because I wanna do the tire lettering. And I might as well do the tire lettering now that they off the car, but I wanna make a separate video for that, so I'm not really sure on how I'm gonna go about that, but I'm gonna definitely start taking off the tape little by little. Hopefully the paint didn't dry up on the tape. 
and they peel now, look. Go slowly, just in case. And then things came out crispy as hell. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I kind of wish I would have done one more coat of uh, paint just to make it a little extra darker. But this right here is this is good for now. Cause like I said before, I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna try my best to get some 90s. I've been looking for the past week, but I can't find nothing that I want. And 90, I found a few 20s, but I feel like 20s is way too big. So um. Yeah, for now, I'm going to put them on. I was going to do the tie lettering, but it looked like it's going to rain, as I can see. It's gloomy out. So by the time I run to get the tie lettering, come back, start, it's probably going to start pouring. And I'm not trying to get caught in the rain. So um, I'm going to just put them on the car. I was going to leave them here for a few days, but the car's been sitting for like three, four days now. And it's filthy, so I, I haven't drove it. I want to drive it. I want to put them on. So I'm gonna give you all this video and then start tie lettering in another video. You know what I'm saying? A whole separate thing, but let's get these on the car. Look how filthy the car look, y'all. Free branches, bird poop. You know what I'm saying? Got all type of more bird poop right here. A lot more bird poop right here. Just looks abandoned. So it's been sitting here literally in the same spot for two, three days. Today's what? Today's Wednesday's been sitting here, sitting here since Sunday night. And look at all these. I'm gonna have to go wash the car right after I slap the rims on it. But let me know if y'all like these better or the ones I just did. I kinda, I don't know, I feel these. I don't know if it's because of color, but we gonna. Uh, yeah, I got the rims on and they're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'm over here all sweaty. This is my cardio though, since I haven't been going to the gym the past week and a half because of the whole all vaccine mandatory thing. I'm not getting that damn vaccine. So this is my cardio right here. You know what I'm saying? But I got the rims on. I'm gonna go get the the little center caps and then give you like a little B-roll of the whole car. You know what I'm saying? Something different. I've never done a B-roll before. I'm gonna try my best. But so far they're looking so they looking good. I just have to drop the car from the front a little more, y'all, because I don't know, it's looking uneven to me now. Alright, so never mind the B-roll. I'm gonna just give y'all like a close look at the rims, like one by one. So y'all can see how good they came out. Look at that. Wow. I still gotta touch up the the calipers. I didn't get a chance to do that. I might have to add primer because y'all see right there it's chipping. But look at the rims, y'all. No curb rashes at all at all at all you know what i'm saying that's the, the rare one all of them came out perfect you know what i'm saying perfect perfect shout out to uh bando and, and ronaldus for coming through and helping your boy out before i painted them i used to park far from the curve and now i'm definitely gonna park even further just because i don't want to mess them up uh-huh the tires are ashy as hell, too, because I, obviously I got to wash the car. See, I can see I, I dusted it off a little bit. And then this is the one that was bad. Like, this is the one that has scratches all over here. Y'all can still kind of see it. Where is that? I think it's right here. Y'all can still kind of see the mark on it, like, if you really look close. But it's way better than what it looked like before, because before it looked like I was just slamming the rim on the sidewalk on purpose. And then also right there too. Yeah, I can still kind of see it. It's not going to be 100% perfect because I obviously did it by hand. If I would have had the little machine, it would have came out so much better. But for now, um, you know, it's it's way better than what it looked like before. So let me know what y'all think about them rims. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these right here. Like I said earlier, these are the 2012 uh, TL stock rims. These are 18s. I was gonna do something totally different with these. Paint them a whole nother color, put new tires on them. There's one of them that's bent. 
All right, y'all, so I'm gonna end this video right here. Let me know what y'all think of the outcome of these rims. Um, I'm still gonna look for 19s because I'm not really, I'm gonna lower the car though from the front. I might make a, a whole, like a little clip, a little video on that, and put it, throw it up here on YouTube. But um, I am gonna lower it from the front until I get the, I'm able to find 19s that I like. But um, yeah, again, shout out to <clears throat> both of my boys for coming through and they basically did all the work because I had stepped out for like an hour and while I was gone, they literally like put in all the work. You know what I'm saying? I helped a little bit as you can see in the video. I, you know, I helped, you know what I'm saying? But um, then I really got to stop biting my lip. So you can see I have like a, I might be going to get the tire lettering today. Um, I still haven't decided what I'm gonna put exactly. I want to do something different. I'm tired of doing Blanco NYC on the tire lettering. I've been, I've done that for the last two years. So I'm gonna do something completely different. I don't know what though. But yeah, stay tuned for that next week. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to your boy. Peace.